Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the new T-Motor F60 Pro motors. In this video I'm going to bench test these motors using my motor thrust stand and then head outdoors and test them out. The T-Motor F60 Pro 4 motors are available in 3 kV options. The 2550 kV version is compatible with 4S LiPo batteries and the 1950 and the 1750 kV versions are compatible with between 4 to 6 cells LiPo batteries. In terms of packaging, these motors come nicely packed inside this box. As you can see, everything is well organized, and along with the motor, you're getting some stickers, four 8mm and four 9mm M3 screws, one spare 4mm M3 screw, a spare washer, and a lightweight aluminum motor nut. In terms of specs, these motors are using 15cm long, 20 gauge motor wires, on the top side of the motor bell, you can find this grip pattern for the propellers. The motor bell is secured using a 4mm M3 screw, and here you can see how the motor bell looks like after separating it from the stator. As you can see, the motor shaft is hollow, the diameter of the stator is 22mm, and its height is 6.5mm. Finally, including the full length of the motor wires and the motor nut which weighs 06 grams, the 2550kV version, weighs 33.1 grams, the 1950 kV version weighs 32.9 grams, and the 1750 kV version weighs 33.2 grams. Now I'm going to bench test these motors using my motor's thrust end. So as you can see, these are pretty powerful motors, and the 1950 kV version, in conjunction with the 6S LiPo battery, is the most powerful option. I'm going to wrap up this video with some flight footage of this lightweight build using the 1950 kV version of the T-Motor F60 Pro 4 motors. I added the GPS unit to this build in order to measure the top speed, and as you're about to see, these powerful motors, in conjunction with this lightweight build, led to some very impressive results. Now by the way, in case you watched one of my previous videos where I show how to add a GPS unit to the AJR Zeus 35 all-in-one flight controller using the soft seal option of Betaflight, you should note that after testing this option out, I don't recommend using soft seal for GPS devices as the GPS just didn't perform well, and I recommend that on this tech for example, you should use the soft seal option for the VTX mount control and connect the GPS to a standard to port. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video, and of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye.